Are you tired of getting turned down by banks for the money you need? Want to get the financial respect you deserve? It's all in your credit score. That little three digit number that determines how much money you get and how much you pay each month. Your credit score is more than just getting a loan. It affects your car insurance premiums and can even keep you from getting a job. I'm going to show you the five tricks I used to boost my FICO score by more than 100 points, get the money I needed, and the rates I could afford. These credit score hacks will boost your FICO and will get you better rates, so don't go anywhere. Joseph Hogue here with another Let's Talk Money video. This is a very special video for me. It involves some tips that helped me turn my financial life around, and I know it's going to help you do the same. Now my credit score bottomed out at 560 in 2009. It started with a few missed mortgage payments on rentals and ended in bankruptcy. I couldn't get a loan for a car, a roof over my head, I couldn't have gotten a loan for a stick of gum. When I did start getting credit card offers, they were for interest rates of almost 30% a year. Fast forward a few years later and my credit score was over 700 FICO and I was getting the money I needed at interest rates I could afford. So that didn't happen overnight, but it did happen. Anyone that says you can increase your credit score by hundreds of points in just a few months is probably trying to sell you their lame credit course or some other crap. Now I'm going to share with you the truth about boosting your credit score and the most powerful tricks I used to rebuild my FICO. But first, why should you care? A lot of people will tell you that just pay cash and don't use debt. The debt-free lifestyle is popular right now, so why do you even need a higher credit score? Well, almost everyone needs credit at some point. Are you going to pay cash for your home? Uh, do you have 10 grand sitting around for a car? Now, debt isn't bad. It's just a tool you use, so learning how to use it as part of your financial plan can be a big part of your life. More than getting a loan, though, your credit score affects a lot of other parts in your life that you might not really know about. Insurance companies are actually allowed to charge people with bad credit higher premiums. That's something called the credit-based insurance. Uh, landlords and employers both pull your credit report when you apply for rent or for a job. So having a good credit score is extremely important even if you don't plan on getting a loan. So let's look at five credit score tricks guaranteed to boost your FICO. Now I've tried these hacks and have seen others use them. They work. I've got a full list of 21 credit score secrets on the blog, uh, so I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. Be sure to click through and get all those tricks to increase your credit score. Number one here to increase your credit score is getting bad marks taken off your report. Now you've probably heard that you can get errors taken off your credit report by writing to the credit bureaus, but this also works sometimes for those legitimate bad remarks. You have the right to get your credit report free once a year from each of the three credit bureaus. Check your credit report and look for missed payments, charged off loans, anything that's going to hurt your score. Then write a letter to each of the credit bureaus saying you would like to dispute the remark. Like you don't remember missing the payment or something. By law, they have to follow up with the creditor or whoever put that on your credit report. This works best for old credit accounts that have since been closed. You know, these companies, they don't care what's on your credit report anymore. They're less likely to even take the time to answer that dispute letter from the bureau. If they don't answer it, then the bad remark gets removed from your report and your score jumps. The second credit score secret is to ask your creditors to up your limit. Now this sounds crazy, especially if you're struggling with debt, but it tricks lenders into thinking you're a better borrower. There's a thing called your credit utilization ratio. It's just a way of saying how much you owe and how much credit you have available. Think of it this way. If you owe $5,000 on a credit card with a $5,000 limit, then you're maxed out. If a lender sees this, they're going to think, no way I'm loaning this person any more money. They're already maxed out on this other card. Now take that same $5,000 owed, but on a card with a $10,000 limit. Now another lender is going to look at this and say, okay, well, this other company is trusting them with 10 grand and they're only using 5,000 of it. They must be a responsible user of credit. Understand this isn't an excuse to run out and buy more stuff with your new higher credit limit. It's just a way to boost your credit score, but you still have to pay down that debt you owe. Credit score trick number three is consolidating your bad debt into one payment. Now I used this as one of the first things I did to increase my credit score and it does work. 
The idea is that you have a bunch of small debts, credit cards, personal loans, car loans, whatever. First, you have to keep all these bills straight or you risk missing a payment and destroying your credit. You also have to worry about those super high interest rates that come with these kinds of debt. So you take out one loan to pay all of them off. You consolidate them into one bill. Now I've got a step-by-step -step guide to do this on the blog that I'll link to in the video description if you need more information on that. Now I lowered my interest rate from an average of 18% on five different debts down to 13% when I did this uh, loan consolidation and I saved more than 500 a year in interest payments. Consolidating your debt will keep you on track to make those payments and pay off your debt faster because you'll have a lower monthly payment. The real credit score boost though comes from something else. You see, lenders see the types of credit on your report. Now credit card debt is, like, is called revolving debt because it's like a revolving door. It just keeps you going around and around. You don't have a fixed payment or a payoff date. This kind of debt really hurts your credit score. Consolidating your debt into a personal loan changes it to non-revolving debt. Personal loans have a fixed monthly payment and a payoff date. Now lenders are going to see this and they'll know that you're getting your finances back on track. You build up that good credit history with your payments and your credit score increases faster than just paying off the original debts. Credit trick number four here is to negotiate to remove bad remarks from your credit report. Now this is a great alternative for the bad credit remarks you couldn't get removed from that first trick. As you know, missed payments and other bad remarks on your report are the worst thing for your credit score. I mean, those marks on your credit report sink your score like a rock. But lenders really don't care what's on your credit report. They want their money. If you're behind on a loan or if you've got one charged off, you've actually got a lot of power over those credit companies. This is actually what the debt settlement companies do, but you can do it all without using their expensive services. So call up anyone that has a bad remark on your credit report, the ones you still owe money to. Tell them you'll pay them off within a couple of months if they promise to remove that bad remark from your credit report. Now they might say it's impossible to get the mark removed, but that's a lie. Things get removed from your credit report all the time. Tell them that you're talking to all your creditors and the ones that agree to work with you will get paid off first. Make sure to get any of these agreements signed and in writing. Uh, then go through with your end of the deal and make sure that they go through with their end. Be tough in your negotiation and you'll get the respect you deserve. Finally, our fifth credit score trick is how to make sure your score is where you need it when you get a loan. Whenever you apply for a loan, it goes on your credit report, even if you get denied for the loan or you decide not to take it. It's never a good idea to have a lot of these inquiries on your credit report because it looks like you're scrambling for money. It's also a bad idea to close credit accounts before you go to apply for a new loan. You know, closing those credit cards, even if it's the financially responsible thing to do, can actually cause your credit score to drop. So for at least six months before applying for a loan, don't close any credit accounts or apply for other loans. Now it might be hard to do this if you need money fast and can't plan that far ahead, but a good rule of thumb is just not to apply for a loan unless you really need the money. That's just five of the 21 credit score tricks we've got on the blog, so be sure to click through to the article and boost your FICO fast. Try these five hacks over a few months and I guarantee you will see your credit score jump and the interest rates on new loans drop. I'm here every Monday through Wednesday with a new video on beating debt, making more money, and making your money work for you. So if you've got a money question, subscribe to the channel and go to purefinance101.com ask and I'll answer it on a future video.